Apa baru asking why must we always wait for something to happen so that we can see government? Why don't we see government before? The government is always there, honestly. We just don't see it. We it we all we see it everywhere. Yeah. Every but who is government? You know we always look you know and and at some an, an entity called government. Our but concept of government is in the people who we pay. I understand. From our but look at it this way. What is your responsibility as a citizen? You just given an example of uh, maybe building crashing or mm. it, you know uh, collapsing. Mm. But what is your responsibility as the owner of that building? Mm. You know w- w- you know I'll give a quick example. Right now even before now there, there were I mean, there's drought in some certain parts of this country. Mm. And drought simply means that there is no water, there's no rain. Right now there is enough rain. What are we doing about it? Because after the rain there will be drought. What is our responsibility as a people, you know? Can't we harvest water? Must we be told by the government to harvest water so that when rain eventually dries, we have something that we can be able to use. So yes, there is something that we must do as a people. Everything starts from here. But you cannot be looking f- back to the government every time something happens. Something that in our own estimation should have been done by you. So yes, there is an element which even you as an individual, you have a role to play. So we must look back into ourselves and ask ourselves, why am I buying, you know, chicken wire and building a one-story building with chicken wire? Yet you know yourself that uh, it is cannot it cannot hold that weight. Mm-hmm. You understand? So there is an element within us that must also re- require social re-engineering. True. And when you have criminal elements in with with amongst us who actually go ahead and do that, the government's role is to ensure. And that, that is we why they are in court right now. 